class. to the world class i am noble miguel mario tunica bay and today we're looking at some guy named Os obsidian uh lying to mr palmer's face about him talking about him just gonna go over that interaction not looking to expose this dude but uh because he pretty much exposes himself um link to the full description <clears throat> link to the full discussion will be in the uh in the description and about mentioning my name about mentioning me well, you didn't say my name, but saying Big Mama Ted. Oh, here you go. Yeah, what up, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? Give me, give me a minute. I'm going to grab something to drink. Give me a second. All right. So, yeah. So, like I say, I don't want y'all thinking that this is about disrespecting the black man. It's about him personally. Cause like I said, this 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 alphabet agenda ain't got nothing to do with me. I talk about it, but <laughs> I don't get no fuck about that. My goal is men's rights. My goal is to change the laws in our mind. Shout out to D Mac the trucker for the five dollar donation. Appreciate you, brother. See, you a truck driver. You can't wear a suit. You ain't got time. A reasonable man said, Mr. Palmer, don't. Uh, don't the mistake of taking this personal for obsidian is just a way of doing business. Uh, I'm not taking it personal, man. I, I can't, I would never take nothing on social media personal unless you come at me really personally, like uh, bringing my kids in and all that shit. Nah, I don't take this personal, man. This is this, this a, this a dialogue and a response. You, you there, bro? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It seems it seems that there's a problem here. What's what's the problem? Or the misunderstanding. Problem, the problem the problem was uh the video with um but not Riley yesterday when you mentioned about whining about child support and you mentioned Bay Mama Terrace. So when you mentioned the Bay Mama Terrace, I said, Oh, okay, you must be talking about me. No, actually I wasn't talking about you. You wasn't? No. I was talking about the men in my, my Facebook feed who often ape and quote you. That's so, what I'm talking about. So you which is which is right like which even even that in it of itself everybody know that, that that's a lie so what you just told this man is that you know i wasn't talking about you i'm talking about people that talk about what you talk about which is who that's for When you're a liar, when you're a liar, your little stupid little brain only goes to I want to I want to get away with it. Your brain is not going to what makes sense. Y'all little dumb liars, y'all I don't. It's so easy to catch you. So you you too dumb to realize that you just told him he was you after his audience. And then would you look at the full video and see why he's going at his audience? It's uh it's fucking retarded. But that's basically in it of itself is basically what you're saying. And when you go through again the full video, you'll see <laughs> that you you are talking about him because of the succession. And Mr. Palmer's is going to go through that because of the succession of how you said it and what you said. And you're saying that you don't like the topics that they're talking about because you have this defense mechanism and this end all be all response to it as to why they shouldn't be talking about it. Chill, but he'll. he'll, he'll you want to talk about you want to talk about me at all? No. If I did, I would mention you by name. Come on, man. That's a little kid shit. That's a little kid shit. The fact that you and he's not going to he's not going to acknowledge how that how that can be perceived. And, and it's no level of integrity on this dude part. I don't know who he is, but I think he's garbage. I think he's a liar. Um, 
I don't, he doesn't have any integrity to me. He's a low quality person, but you, you, you're not even going to acknowledge of how that could be construed that way. Not acknowledging anything that's human. So you're sitting there trying to undermine his intelligence, which is what the fuck is that about, bro? He was an asshole. I specifically said yesterday that I was talking about the guys in my Facebook feed who were responding to a post I made about my views about the black community's homophobic ways and discriminatory ways against black gay folks. I'm saying, you see what I'm saying? So you're defending black gay folks and their people are discriminatory. What are you talking about? Like what world do you live in where that's real? It's not a thing. It's not a, you know how many of us have gay people in our families and now their families be the number one place they can go. Their woes are solely because they be a male that want to fuck another male and a female that want to fuck another female and the face that they're using doesn't come from that. That's their own problem. That's nobody else's problem. Their resolve for that is to follow through with the self-hate and kill themselves. And it's, it's worthless, this stupid argument, and, f and for you to protect it. Because there's nobody that gets talked about or, or abused or, or ostracized more than fat people. It's way more fat people than it is gay people, and they get treated worse, way worse than they do. But a nigga like him will never, that's never gonna come up. So this little, what do they call it? What y'all call it? Virtue signaling? That shit not gonna come up. So you're not really for that. And like I said, once you see the, go watch the full video or you already watched it, you already see what his agenda is. Oh, he for the gay agenda. Nigga. You already know what it is, bro. You already know what it is. No real man talk about that. No man talks about that. You got somebody gay in your family or you gay or you want that gay money. It's pretty simple. Who, who talks about that? I don't know. No man talking about that. And my, I've no, no man. Who talks about that shit? That shit, bro. These niggas can't hide their bull lay bullshit. And interestingly enough, it wasn't black women that had a problem with what I said. It was black men. And their and their number one or well, one of their number one defenses, quote unquote, was about the gay the, the gay agenda and how it impacts black boys, and it's all about the children. I said, okay, well let's let's look at that, and they tried it out, you know, Lil Nas X and all the rest. Of it. I said, okay, so if Lil Nas X is your problem, he's an entertainer, he's on social media, you can do something about that if you're a dad. But I can't control that. I can't control what my what my child uh, does and all the rest of it. Well, you 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 must be a piss poor dad then. If that don't sound like a black female, like we're gonna ignore the fact that alienation, which is a crime by the way, which is criminal, exists on this planet, which is the main thing. There's nothing that dominates our culture more than alienation. That is the main reason fathers. I mean, to ninety percent, eighty to ninety percent across the country. Why fathers don't physically have their child on a day-to-day -day basis is solely because of alienation by the female. And female self-worth is wanting to be included in everything. So the TV has to be on, the social media has to happen, they, 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 they got to be included and involved in everything, and they have to have their clout, number one clout chase mechanism, which is children, involved in it. And anything gay and anything inferior and anything, anything satanic will get to your children. Guaranteed. A nigga said he can't control that. That's a fact. Here's what's, here's what's a, another point about that. That a piece of shit like him doesn't understand. The niggas that's talking are them same fucking children. But people don't want to open their mouth about that. That's why I make sure I look like your dusties. Because you're too stupid to go back and forth with me. Because I'll trash you. So what you're saying is fuck these victims so you don't give a fuck about them children. And because you gave up on them children, which is these same niggas as 30 and 40 and 20 and teenagers and 60. Since you said fuck them, <laughs> let's not deal with that. Let me get my turn fucking y'all over. I want my turn. That's what that shit is about. The niggas like him do on the right side of your screen. Type of clown niggas who they never were hurt until they had money. You know what I mean? That's the type of dudes that they are. They wasn't that dude that got pussy. They wasn't that dude that a dude would call, yeah, nigga, I got a problem, and that dude will come and smack the shit. He's not one of those dudes. And these little boys be vexed 
they be so vexed because they're excluded by the females, they're excluded by the men, and they grow up all their lives and they want their turn and they just want to be heard. Yeah, people for years. Why don't you? I'm 35 years old, about to be 36 this year. Well, shoot, two, two, two weeks. Why don't you talk? Why don't you talk? Because I'm not, I'm, I don't need attention. I don't need an acknowledgement. I've always been acknowledged by real motherfuckers my entire life. I don't care to be, I'm here, like, let's just say we working on a railroad, helping so called black people. Morris people, indigenous people, or talk to people, African people say that's called the railroad. Railroad, right? We working on the railroad. Y'all working on the railroad. A lot of people are working on the railroad for, you know, the ten dollars and fifty cents or fifty dollars and fifty cents. Y'all working on it for y'all work, like for y'all. Y'all working on it for, you know, the income. I mean, you should. You should take care of your family. Me, I'm working on it for the railroad. I want to increase the efficiency. That's what we're working for. To exclude the mundanity out of life. So I'm not, I don't need to be seen and heard. I only do it because I don't want to do it. The only reason I'm on camera is because I don't want to. And I know if I don't want to, it must be important to do. Because once are fleeting. What's more important is for somebody else brown skin like me to not have no excuse Right to to what's important is for somebody who got brown skin like me to see another person not make no excuses why you shouldn't get on camera or why you shouldn't do so. If you you probably got a message, right? But dudes like him don't give a fuck about it. They don't care. They're not here for us. He's here for him. What kind of what kind of authority do you have over your children if you can't control nothing about your kids? So wait a minute. So 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 you telling me? That is other cats. Cause me and you are uh, friends on Facebook. I don't know how many Facebook pages you have. I'm, I know I'm on one of them. And you telling me that a bunch of guys yeah. that, that's on your platform is Mission Bay Mama Terrace? Yep. Among other things. Okay, because the thing is, I don't I don't really hear other people saying it on, on Facebook but me. And yeah, it is. I've seen it numerous times. That I've seen it on Instagram. Okay, and also, you know, how I say child support, I say child support. I don't say child support. And you were saying child support. So yeah, that that Tommy Sotomayor was talking about that over a decade ago. So but now that, just that way. I, I know, that's another thing. So that's but Tommy Sotomayor didn't say it yesterday or the day before yesterday. Or the day before that. Or last week. Or last month. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Tommy Sotomayor didn't say it today. This nigga is a clown, bro. I probably won't even edit this video. I probably won't. Cause this it's just this should just need to be. I'm not. Just I'm gonna link the conversation. The whole live, three hour live. May or may not get tab timestamps. This shit, this is some bitch nigga shit, bro. This is boulet shit. They uh, y'all niggas is pushing. That's who you speaking on, Tommy? Pardon? No, I said, was that who you were speaking on? Tommy? No, I, I'm saying the idea that that you were the first one that somehow originated the, the pronunciation of it, that's not true. No, no, I ain't say I originate that. I just said, I do say child support. I mean, right. I, I think that's a Southern I'm not thing. Originate. I can't say that one. Just baby mama terrorist. I think that's a Southern thing. My point was, was very simple. You know, gay folk ain't doing nothing to black men. One of the things I don't like about the conscious community is that they run around like these black, pro-black, um, fucking, the, the fucking Saru Sutton Setis, the Shaka Atmos, is the fucking Sarnetta, them clowns. One thing I don't like about them dudes is they run around and they make so many fucking claims for the white man that the white man never even claimed. That's the white man book talking about the Bible. That's the white man book. That bitch, that bitch, that bitch never said that was his shit. And that, when I see shit like that, that's similar where it's a fucking lie, it doesn't exist, it's not real. The Bible existed in Ethiopia, which is not white man, before white man even knew what it was. Gay people never did nothing to the so-called black man. The fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. It ain't real. It's not even, don't even need to go through no examples. They're literally trying to cancel Dave Chappelle right now. When he talks about everybody. They feel, oh, I'm so entitled. It's happening right now. It's no world that you live in where that exists. 
the fuck are you talking about? Look at this little bitch is crazy. This is oh, Jesus Christ. So I'm saying it so Mr. Palmer don't have to say it or nobody else have to say it. As I say it, I don't give a fuck. I'm not in this management. Morse American Muslim, consecrated missionary to Morse Science Temple of America. I'm saying it so they don't even have to say it. I'm not in y'all dumbass community. Come on. I'm coming from another community going, hey, the stuff that y'all talking about is right. But then one of y'all like this dickhead, when y'all say some shit that's wrong, hey, that nigga's on some bullshit. The gay community never did it. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you, what the fuck are you talking about? These little... <laughs> almost went there. These homosexual males have been sitting up under our women and undermining us the entire time. The entire time. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? We've been little boys watching our mothers in these salons. Tell, <laughs> Watching our mothers. We're, we've been... Let's say, this, let's say it like this. We've been in the salons with our mothers. Washing these homosexuals undermine everything that we do. Undermining our fathers. Yeah, girl, you need to leave him. So what the fuck is you what are you, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? But like I said, his agenda is clear. I want to be a part of that boule metrosexual Kevin Samuel shit. I'ma say it so nobody else had to say it. I want to be a part of that real, real heavy. I want to be in that little shit that they got going on him, Anton Daniels. I want to be in that. F fucking new age boule bullshit. Well, I'm going to do this new mystical thing called conforming and cutting your hair and dressing the way that you, that, that the white man who owns the business wants you to do as if, as if that's fucking new, as if that isn't one of the main things that has only failed. Like that's fucking brand new. Let's just conform and cut your hair and do what they want you to do. And it'll work out so you can get money like that. Haven't niggas haven't been doing that for fucking 300 consecutive years. Like it don't, since you want to do it here, I'll put the image on that you like so I can see. <laughs> when you look at these niggas, it's clowns that never got pussy when they was young. Was them niggas to slap around and steal on. When you see it, when you see these niggas is talking, that's who they, so I have no problem. I have no problem. Any woman looking at this know this is a nigga that can get pussy. Because at the end of the day, women, high value or no, or, I value somebody that got a lot of resources or warriors. They're going to pick warriors. This is going to pick warriors. Here go your mouth. I'll be both. No, I'll be a warrior. I'll take his shit whenever I want. I'll take the high value man shit whenever I want. Fuck is he going to do? That's why they mad with the Pookies and Ray Rays. Because the Pookies and Ray Rays fuck they bitch on their, on their dime. The Pookies and Ray Rays, I am going to add that in there. No. What they mad about is the Pookies and Ray Rays, right? The Pookies and Ray Rays be fucking their girlfriend on their dime. That's what they upset about. And I got money and I want to make this. They want to find a little space where warriors, Pookies and Ray Rays, which are fucking movie characters, which is not the real people who is little, whatever his dad name is, and man, man, the real niggas, right? <laughs> they mad at them because those niggas live their life in poverty, live the life that they wanted to live in poverty. And now I got money and I want to make it away where you can't adapt. Well, nigga, we've adapt. I know you was crazy. I want to tell y'all a little clown something. Dusty's whatever, because I don't got to conform. I'm going to still get the bitches you want. I'm going to still get the money you want. I don't have to do that. You have to do that. Because you're not talented and you're not disciplined. You're not respected by high quality people. You're not. You're respected by niggas that do the, I'm going to get money. I'm going to do the obsession shit to get money. That's who respect you for little niggas that like a Anton Daniels, who's a fat face motherfucker talking about. I'm religious. I'm, I'm no, I'm an example of what God wants you to do. This is what a nigga said, right? A nigga like Anton Daniels who says, tell the lead attorney, you know, I don't, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> Oh, you know, we, we don't fornicate before marriage. This nigga never fucked outside of marriage is what he's saying ever. Oh, we, we don't fornicate outside of marriage. You know, I don't get to pick and choose. But you a fat fucker. How do you? I, I, and I'm the I'm the I'm the, ex, I'm the example of righteousness. I don't pick and choose with God. Said I'm a Christian. I don't pick and choose. How the fuck you get fat? Because Genesis one verse twenty nine tell you what your plate bowls look like, and gluttony is one of the dev seven deadly sins. So I, how did you become a fat person if you wasn't picking and choosing? But I'm rich. I'm rich. How you rich? When you cutting into the number one asset you got, which is time, which is your life expectancy, not eating the way God told you to eat. 
You listen to dumb niggas like that that do the obsession shit where it's not obsession because you're just neglecting, un you're neglecting extremely important areas and putting all this energy into one area. You're trading. You're not coming up. Why are you? Trying to follow, follow behind Kevin Samuels. Who said to a chick named Kay that what? She asked him, how do we operate in a global society? And she said, you you lost. You're a loser. You lost. You don't get to pick pick, pick and choose. <laughs> Look at the last time I checked. Didn't the Christians lose? Didn't y'all lose? Y'all lost, right? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, I'm about to bring it home. I got more of this video than what I'm about to bring it home. Y'all lost, right? Let me make sure we we on the same page. Y'all did not win. You only lost, right? Let me make sure we clear on that. So is the suits and ties that you're wearing, is that Islamic? Because you lost to the to Islam and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You lost, remember? And the only reason you have Christianity is because of his mercy and he allows you to have it. You, Christianity, Catholicism, and Judaism. Because Judaism was dominated by Christianity, remember? That's why Jesus came in the first place. Right? Okay. So when Prophet Muhammad came and beat the people that were beaten, he allowed you to keep your Christianity. That means all Christians, the Vatican included, are under Islamic rule today. So the garb you're using is that of the losers, right? It's not Islamic garb. It's not the winner. But in this country, you mean the same country, right? This country, this you mean the same country, United States of America, who were recognized by no, not by England, what? Who was recognized by Morocco, which had a sultan, which was under Islamic. Oh, that is interesting how that works like that. Hmm. In a place that is called the White House, which was called a palace before, right? But you felt like a boss. <laughs> it's interesting. Hmm. Well, there's that. What are gay folk doing to black men? I'm talking about black, what for that matter, white gay folk. I was talking specifically about black gay people. They ain't doing nothing to black men. They're not profiting black men from being dads in their lives, dads in the lives of their kids. They're molesting their children because the mother is keeping the dad away. Because she's not good enough to be the only one. Right, that's pretty common. It's a pretty normal thing. I mean, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, dude? An idiot. Or doing doing whatever they want to do. Gay folks ain't stopping black men from doing that. Oh, and, and you're not bringing no evidence, so I don't have to either. Because you're, you're older than me. I'm 35. You're about to be 36. So you're not bringing no evidence, so I don't have to either. But I speak for, for my niggas. It's just a fact of who's telling the truth and who's not. We already know you're a liar. How? Oh, I, I really don't care about the uh, alphabet. I don't really talk about the alphabet agenda except uh, it's important that fathers be in the children's lives. So. Which is Mr. Palmer saying, listen, I'm, I'm not distracted by that fucking that fucking gay shit you talking about. And I'm not distracted by the fucking Facebook shit you talking about. Me and you friends on Facebook. So I'm one of them niggas you talk about. You have a problem. But you're not a man. You don't want to bring it up. Because Mr. Palmer wears a fuck child support hat. And this dude started wearing suits because Kevin Samuels started wearing suits. So he got on this show and that show and he's trying. Okay. It's because of the look. Which shows. And again. If you go watch the full video. You had a few dudes say you sold us out. And that says. And the shit that he said. Another dude was like. So you was never for us. It shows you were never for us. You only want to do stuff to get attention. It's just typical niggas like that. Typical niggas like that. I got I got people. You cut your you just cut your hair because they know how I look like with my hair cut. And then, but then most of them that that see me with my hair cut never see me in a suit and would have no idea if I was to dress up and wear a suit what I would look like. Have no idea how many <laughs> people have no idea that I I know no fashion. That's why I don't like it. I really, I, I completely don't. I fucked a lot of beauticians. I, I fucked a lot. I fucked a lot. I know fashion in and out. I don't like it at all. 
I don't like nothing about it because I clearly I'm a researcher and 90 plus percent of it is homosexual. That's why I don't participate in it. 90 plus percent with my people and you know, Africa got their own style. They have a business style. Islam has a business style. Never comes up. Asia people have business attire. That's in a totally different format. So I, you know, and like Kevin, watch Kevin Samuels. All he talk about is European ones. I'm not making it up. This is facts. You can go look and research. I'm not even going. I'm not going to do no research. I'm not going to. I'm, all you got to do is go and look. It's business attire for other or other nationalities. Other, but they want you to stay a dog. That's their intention. Stay a dog. Stay submissive. And that's it. They don't want any change for your life. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you said now what you did say, you said, like I said, I thought you was talking about me. You said men need to be need to be fathers. And the reality is a lot of fathers not even allowed to be fathers due to this court system, due to alienation. A lot of different factors, not because hey, he just want to whine and complain and he don't want to be a father. Now, well, I don't know about the guy you was talking to, but what I can say, he make an excuse not being a father. Now, what I can say after doing uh, this, six, what I can say after doing this for six years is that a lot of black men that don't seem all that put out by it because they're not doing anything to change the laws. Mm, 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 mm. Often, they constantly tell us, don't generalize women. Here's two factors to that stupid statement. One is you don't have no evidence of what you're talking about because you have to prove verbatim what you said. And that doesn't exist. It's been a lot of dudes. There's a dude that be on this show named Israel that worked to do something to change the laws. That's not real. The other part of that is that the, <laughs> what's crazy is pr particularly and precisely what Mr. Palmer is doing is the actual thing you need to do, not acting, acting to change the laws. Because the laws are not the problem. It's the bias. And the bias is is a funded bias. People make have more of a financial incentive to keep the child away from the dad than the dad than the child away from the mom. Because men make more money, especially men with children, make more money than females. So when child support is issued, it's mainly issued to the person that's going to make the court more money. The court gets a piece of that. And it's by a percentage given each state. So there's a financial incentive to keep it away from the dad. It's a secondary incentive that I already mentioned, it being the child. I mean, probably be it, but to keep the baby away from the child and have the baby with the mother when they know how the brain works, which is, I keep bringing that up and everybody keep getting quiet. Do association, neurological pathways, dendrites, synt uh, um, synopsis, paradigms, metaparadigms, how the brain works, how, how the glands in the brain work. They will build a person that grows up with their mom is most likely to be like their mom. You become who you hang around most of the time. Females, U.S. black and white females are hyper consumers. Their self-worth is attached to being able to get something from a store. Their identity is a, is solely consumerism. It's not religion. It's not principles. It's not nothing but other than buying stuff. Their life worth is about can I get some stuff? And they know when they're around the children. Right. And the children are around them. They're, they're going to make more spineless, easy to manipulate people. That's the agenda. It's not even rocket science. It's pretty simple. Females are not builders. They're not producers. They just suck up value. Black females suck, suck up 73 cents out of every dollar within the first six to 24 hours. So they're not producers. They are just a cost. They want people to become cost. They want people to keep moving sales and driving sales. And it's always with the image and the gay image. The same shit. 
Never when these, um, I'll make it a hundred. Never will the Obsidian, a Kevin Samuels, an Anton Daniels, any of these people pushing the image, image shit, ever talk about indigenous business attire or African business attire or Islamic business attire. And they the richest niggas in the world. People don't even know how much Islam has spread it into China. You want to jump to China. <laughs> but if you do the origin, you see, Islam is not the Mohammedan religion. Islam is an entire culture that existed before Jesus even existed. So people don't know. But all you know is your quick fix instant gratification association. So you saying so you saying there's no organizations the fathers' rights movement and and is out here. I haven't seen any I haven't seen any let head up by black men in six years. This nigga just keeps saying what I seen. Okay, where the fuck are you looking? And what makes you good enough to recognize it? You gotta qualify these people. Well, you know, I, I, can't, I can't you know what I can't I can't even argue. I can't even say if if that's true or not. I can only speak on what I do. But you talking about just black men as a whole, right? I'm talking about the black men who were making the most noise online about this over the past six years. I've I've known black men who talked about they were gonna write a book about it. Six years later, no book. So it can't be that big of an issue. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who them cats is. I mean, I wish you screenshot it because I don't know who these cats is that's saying Bay Mama Terrace and talking about writing books and all this shit. I don't I don't know them cats on Facebook. Oh translation, nigga, you lying. You lying. Can't back up nothing you saying. Meanwhile, this nigga on his show does that to the females. With the evidence, with the proof. I only know one black man who has actually done something about these matters in come. court. And that's a guy named Carnell Smith out of Georgia. Yeah, he been on here. Watch no, this. no, no. He ain't come on here. I was on um, the Coast of Condition. I met him then, but I knew who he was before. And he's been and he's been primarily fed it by white organizations. I've yet to see any major or even minor black organization online, you know, host him. See what I'm saying? See what he's saying? You can watch Anton Daniel say that. You can go watch Kevin Samuel say that. This little new school boule agenda. Those second tier little guys. But the W E D or E E D Du Bois, whatever his name is, and uh, Booker T. Uh, this this little gang blind, these little dickheads, guy, bro. It's just, this is old and tired and irritating. Jesse Jackson type of clown shit. It's a new, it's annoying, bro. Little spineless, little fucked hard. Mind boggling. Say life is about white people, bro. And Boulay and 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 pro black niggas need to get together and just be their own nation. They are some they, are some, they I mean they make more they they white people apologists they either apologists the boule do the apologizing and the fucking pro blacks they run around and claim everything for the white man the white man is a god to them yeah white man the white man yeah. he used the Bible to oppress us you know what nigga he was using air too he was pissing and shitting you gonna stop all that I can't stand these niggas bro. I cannot stand these stupid motherfuckers, bro. These little fake bro, the boules and the fake boules and the pro black niggas, those the most trash ass niggas you'll ever find in life. They are garbage, garbage spineless little bitches, bro. This shit is disgusting. These are some spineless piece of shit little bitches there, bro. Same fucking rhetoric. Oh, the white people. So I'm, I thank God for Mike. I, Mike, I appreciate you if you, ever, if you ever see this. I appreciate you. Cause a millionaire I got around. Man, I don't, I don't. Y'all need to get around a millionaire. That's a, a, a brother or a human. I didn't even say that shit. Because when y'all get around these white people, bro, oh my gosh. It's the typical shit that the U.S. government been doing. I'm going to create a, a problem, and then I'm going to come and I'm going to give you a little morsel, and then you're going to love me. Because your little brain have association to my white my white skin or my pale skin. Or my shit over your own people. That shit crazy. I watched Anton Daniels clown ass say it was a it was a white people. I don't pick race first. That's what a nigga said. Kevin Samuels backed him. I'm just saying it here. I got the evidence, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit that part in it. He backed him. Well, we don't pick race first. We pick excellence first. The fuck is that supposed to mean? We picking excellence, you know, because we don't, you know, we we you don't just pick them just because they are race, you know. Pick them because they qualify. Who the fuck don't know that? Who don't do that? You can go to any community, see the Jews. The Jews are sticking with the Jews. They have millionaires. You can see 
the Arabs sticking with the Arabs. They got millionaires. You can see it. It's not like it's invisible. You can really, you go to any hood, any country, you see that. It's the same shit over and over again. They know to pick people that's going to do the work versus people that are not going to do. Why you got to explain that? The kind, like he's doing, trying to slide some other hide lies and agendas under some little false truths, some little half truths. Like, bro, y'all niggas is on some clown shit, bro. Y'all niggas is straight on some clown shit. I don't pick race. I don't pick race first. That's crazy. That's crazy. With the same face that your, your race picked first because you look like them. To keep you the fuck alive, to be able to have that situation even happen in the first place. Maybe you get your little shit, you and your little bag about the shit and the white people this, and I'm gonna include them and I'm always gonna include them. So it's just, because I got it, everybody should get it. That's not a human being at that point. It's easy, it ain't huh? What? It's hard as fuck to be successful in a country that don't, what the fuck is you talking about? I don't know where the fuck do y'all come from? The millionaires I was around, they said the shit is continuously hard, so you can't afford to deal with niggas that don't want to win. I get all that. The fuck, it's easy. Mm, 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 mm. If it was eat, mm. yeah, yeah, man, fuck these clowns, bro. These are some bitch niggas here, bro. Niggas are fuck niggas, for real. That I'm aware of. And why you think that is? Because black men ain't really that big. They put out about it. If they were, they would do something about it. They would do something about it. I'm tired of these dudes talking on Facebook about, ain't that something? That's something, dumbass. Oh, but I'm, oh, okay. It is something, right? Isn't it speaking publicly? Ain't that what Malcolm and Martin did? Can't you get the more people through Facebook than you get on the corner? Not only, not only do you lie, you telling niggas they not supposed to allow, they not allowed to adapt, and then if they do, they got to do it the way to make you feel and act like. I, I don't fucking say, I say, bro, I don't fucking. Yo, it's no difference. Niggas is the same. Conscious community niggas, niggas in the hood, manosphere niggas is the same niggas, bro. They all act no difference. It's the same exact shit. Bitch, nigga, little girl, little boy shit. This fucking get. This is some stupid shit. Some dumb ass shit here. But a lot of black men think that, you know, getting online and talking crap is, is sufficient. Nigga, you just said do something. Now you care about sufficiency, which is what the fuck I just said. But you... Uh, mm. Sufficient. You care about sufficiency, but you walk around with brown skin calling yourself black. Is that sufficient? You fucking older than me. Now you... Now you that's sufficient? To not know your fucking colors in your 40s? That's sufficient. When every... Fucking application you ever filled out in life starts with identity and you too st stupid to know your fucking colors. Now you care about sufficiency while calling them black. When it's a fucking adjective. You care about sufficiency now, right? You can't even fucking read. Words or colors. Now you care about sufficiency. No, what it is was you probably was talking about one thing and then them niggas started talking about another thing. Like, Basic fucking Facebook fighters. And that was messing up your point. And now you hate them forever because they said some shit you can't fucking argue against. And you'll never bring up what they said to make you look dumb. You just gonna hop on with the other niggas and bitches that fucking like what you like hopped on and keep pushing it because I know I'm supported. Like a normal little girl, little boy in 40 and 50. So, so my position is very simple. Dave Chappelle did this in his special. The real reason why black folk are mad at gay people is because gay, gay folk outmaneuvered them. That's not what the fuck he said, bitch. He didn't say that. You gonna lie to another man like niggas don't see that shit. That's not what the fuck he said. The last thing he said in his special was stop putting my people down. He didn't say we was jealous. In fact, he said, if you've been listening, I've been talking to white people the entire time. And, and showing that your fucking struggle doesn't equate to mine. It's not that people are jealous. Is that the under people, the white people are pushing you solely to close us out? What fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? Everybody watch that fucking special, but when you a deluded fucking semi, fucking semi, uh, boule motherfucker, you want to put your asshole in the air <laughs> and show out? Not even to get fucked, just to show you how much you guys. <laughs> please don't fuck me too. I want to be a part of it. I'll wear it too. I'll do it too. 
versus doing what it's like i just where did these niggas come from bro just watch this you can look at the date that i posted this and look back and you'll never hear them bitches talk about what i'm talking about you don't see them niggas talk you don't see niggas you see fucking one percent or less of niggas in north america talking about inventing something if you gave a fuck about finances you stupid powerless spineless little bitches you would talk about inventing that's what you would talk about if you cared because that's if you study money and business the thing that moves money is inventions the second thing is innovation but all that is predicated on literacy the united states of america makes sure most the average person can read and write because they understand the value of literacy but i don't want you to read that much and that's basically where we stay and it's a metric so you'll get smart dumb niggas like this shout out to mr palmer for allowing this dumb ass motherfucker to expose himself They, they right look at mental agility cap 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 he's just capping everybody know that shit man you're a clown they played the better bet they played the game brother play you can't make this goofy retarded fuck nigga shit up bro you can't make this shit up you're not saying anything you're a dumbass oh my god bro jesus christ this is a piece of shit little bitch played the political game better than black folk did black folk had a 50 some year head start and gay and black and gay folk came from the rear, pun intended, and and completely you know bumped them to one side. Took their guy Obama, who black people, black men in this case, supported to historic levels. Woo! This is a stupid little boy. Uh, Obama said that he can't do anything for black people because black people don't exist. Dumbass, they're not real. Like I've said on Mr. Palmer's show already. The other brown skinned people that live on the continent called Africa, which is a Latin word, it means terra in Latin, which means land, which includes America uh, and Europe and Asia, because that landmass was called Asia before them. So, continent. You know, when they come here, those Africans, yeah, then uh, they get their naturalization. Do you know their car reads white? So, what that says is you're stupid. Um, you shouldn't be talking. You're pathetic. There's a guy that was Egyptian. He fought for his shit to be black because they put his shit as white. So it's not challengeable. So that's not a real thing. And he can't do anything for those people because Dred Scott has never been repealed. Like I said, I'm going to maybe edit some of this just to clear up a little word so it's clear. This is going to be pretty long because this shit is annoying. I'm tired of this dumb shit. I've been dealing with this shit everywhere. Fuck, fuck, fuck niggas get money. That sh I've been dealing with that shit in the hood. I've dealt with that shit in the affluent community. I've dealt with that shit in a Moorish community. I've dealt with that shit in a legal community. I've dealt with that shit in a polygamy community. I've dealt with that shit here. I'm tired of it. It doesn't solve any problem. All you can do is buy more stuff. It doesn't make you valuable. And then y'all invest in, the, in liabilities. I'm tired of it. Putting your asshole in the air and conforming is not going to work. It doesn't change. It has never worked. It's the stupidest fucking game plan. It has never worked. It's not new to conform and fucking put your ass over there and be, and be dominated. It doesn't work. Just how they want you to dress. We've been doing that. We've been doing that the entire time. Niggas are not doing it because it doesn't work. For us. But you're not with us. You for you. You are pro se. You are for yourself. and got him to get what they wanted to get out of him. Meanwhile, black men, bupkis from Obama. Nothing. They have nothing to show for their support of the first black president. An elder would tell you the first black president is something that we're showing. And like a master, I go through it every time. I go through the same thing over and over and over again from the foundation. Because I need to know what I'm talking to. I need to know who you are. You walk around with brown skin in your 30s, 40s, and 50s talking about you black. I'm not, we can't handle real conversation. You don't even know your colors. Oh, I'm doing it because eh. this shit is goofy, bro. 
you doing shit because other people doing it and you 30 and 40 and 56 or because it come on tv that make it real it make it real because it was on tv and you want to doubt you got a lot you got a lot you got a lot of growing up to do watching the kevin sandwich is not gonna change your life it's not gonna help you do anything but stay in the same fucking stupid ass situation kevin sandwich is not gonna mention black females murdering 23 million children in abortion clinics and that's just parent planhood that's not including local and national clinic clinics and hospitals that are public and private and that's not including the diys the do-it-yourselves all of those factors are not included in that 23 million that's already excluding uh you know m- miscarriages you understand they're not the kevin sandwich is not going to bring up the fact that in from 1991 to 2017 our children's suicide rate increased by 73% when black females got custody 80 to 92% from being sexually abused, mentally and verbally abused, physically abused and having to watch their siblings go through that and watch how normal it is. But meanwhile, when if if they do anything, they can't get no repeat. They can't get no relief, they can't get anything. They get to get abused, 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 abused and they just wait their turn and they can't come soon enough. Kevin Sandy's not going to bring it up. Anton Daniels not going to bring it up. This fucktard not going to bring it up. Nobody gives a fuck about children. And see, what the thing is, I know you're talking about me. Because I've been on his show, and I've been on other shows, and that's what I talk about. But I'm not in y'all fucktard community. I come from the Morris community. We talk about children. We talk about everything. Y'all may have that problem, but I know this man talks about it. He talks about the core thing of what produces it. He speaks about men have to go on child support, and men losing custody because of a failed relationship. And in the cookie cut response that we're given that we don't like to be, I heard it all my life. We grew up hearing this bullshit. And now to see it in real time, we're like, oh, okay, fuck it. We're adapting and y'all never plan for us to adapt because y'all self-worth little fucking theta males, y'all theta males, y'all bust y'all motherfucking ass to be able to have your turn and you see us adapting. Well, you should have thought of that in the first place. If you wasn't spineless in a bitch, you would knew we was going to adapt. It's, it's messing up your metrics, isn't it? It's not what you expected. Oh, don't worry. It's going to get worse. And that's the real reason why black folk, in this case, black men are mad at gay folk. That's the real reason. And instead of just taking the L and saying, you know what? What can we learn from these people so we can improve? No, you just want to be mad. <laughs> Take the L. Take the L from 2% of the community. <laughs> hey, yo, all this shit is about having stuff. It's about stuff. I want to be able to get stuff. Thank you, Emma. No, to me. no, you're jealous about it. We don't give a fuck about you or them. We don't care. Okay, you got stuff. Great, got stuff. I got fucking grand shades, fucking glasses. There, it's another pair. Real, give some fuck about stuff. We care about something you'll never have, and that's worthiness, and that's being good enough. Who cares? We know it's crazy. I'll even say it here. You know what's crazy? I like a lot of French and Italian shit. You even know why you like Italian shit? It's because the Pookies and Ray Rays you talk about learn from the Italian mafia on the East Coast. You know that? That's why you eat the fettuccine. That's why you like Lamborghini. That's why you like these European designers. Your whole style and shit is because of Pookies and Ray Rays. Now you're just doing the best you can to try to cut off the middleman. I ain't mad at you. But your whole life is about the niggas you're trying to undermine. Your whole life and existence and value. The, the reason you even want to get money is because of these pookies and ray rays. That's a long way to say this. You don't got no respect for anybody that brings you anything. Y'all dishonorable. It's the most dishonorable, despicable generation that ever exists. Dave Chappelle says it right there on, uh, on the Netflix special. No, he did not. A liar. Yeah, that's unfortunate that 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 more black men ain't trying to do things, but you know that's why I do what I do. I can't I can't work. 
can't control other people. See, uh, if you, if you saying that you was talking about some other cats, and yeah, on my Facebook feed, these are guys that were disagreeing with me about what I said about black folks being discriminatory against other black folks simply because they're gay and wanting to scapegoat them as if they're, they're the reason why black folk, uh, black America is so jacked up. Black gay folk, black gay folk ain't do nothing to black people in that regard. The number one problem between black people is black men and black women, period. Yeah. The number one problem is black men. Nope. The number one problem is black females killing and murdering. I'm sorry, well, killing, abusing, molesting, legally abusing their children to create the hurt people that don't want to, that's not good enough to be married. You see the lack of home training that our people have in their 20s, late teens and 20s and up is because they don't come from homes. Our people don't come from homes. We come from fucking crime scene. That's the number one problem. But a bitch like you who want the black bitch money, really not black bitches because Bitches are better mothers. So the black female money. You want to put on an outfit like any nigga in any hood. No, put on a fake image. Oh, what's popular? Oh, yeah, let me get the haircut. Tell a bitch whatever she want. You get whatever she whatever you want from her. Everybody knows that. A mechanic see a black female. He know he about to make some money. The little niggas that sell the fucking the phones on the side. Of the, the dude that work at Foot Locker, see the black female, he coming there, coming in there to buy her identity so she can get on the phone and say and feel. Everybody know that. You the problem. Niggas like you are the problem. Real elders, real men and women, right? You stand on the opposite side of what's wrong, irrespective of the results you're going to get. Irrespective. It's not right. And then when they fail and they come back five years later, I'm like, I didn't I tell you, but I told you, didn't I? Okay. That's real life. See, I got tired of watching that. I ain't going to keep watching that. All right. So what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Well, since you here, since I'm the only one that listen, this, that, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, do it like this. Okay. All right. So I was in the libraries by myself. My mentor told me, you need to read books. Well, I don't got no books. Well, go to the library. All right. And then I went to the library. I'm like, well, they ain't, they ain't had a book you said to get. Ask them for it. Oh. Okay. You know, if somebody said, and you get to the library, you know, somebody said that y'all get this book. Oh, sure. Oh, shit. Oh. That's how I know. That's how I know when wisdom is speaking. Because I listen to it. And I thought I could live a completely different life. That's why I'm 35 years old. Never drank. Never smoked. No criminal record. No tattoos. Never wore my pants off my ass come from a hitman and my older brother was a dope boy leather jacket beamer gold chain girls killed at 21 i was eight he looked just like me i come from one of them crime families i'm a very disciplined person i know wisdom when i hear it because i got to see what i look like dead in the casket and i know real from fake because i spend my time with the real shit because i dealt with real shit you a fake motherfucker. And people like y'all fake motherfuckers. Y'all don't mean nobody no good. You just want to drive sales. At other people's expense. Yeah, Gay I, folk ain't got nothing to do I, with I it. I agree with that part. That's why I say I don't have no issue with as far as the alphabet part. That ain't, that wasn't my concern. That's why I was wondering, like, why, I'm like, I never said nothing about no the alphabet agenda. I could care less about that. That ain't what I talk about. That was one thing I didn't understand. I'm like, is you trying to merge two, two situations in one? No, I was speaking to yesterday on yesterday's show. I gave an example of how this whole this whole anti uh anti black gay thing comes out. A lot of guys talk about a gay agenda, and then they want to bring in the kids into it. Like, what type of talking point is that? They bring that gay agenda, and this is just talking boy is crazy. This talking boy is crazy. Why wouldn't a man who's heterosexual have a problem with homosexuality as it relates to his child? Why wouldn't you? They're teaching it in school. Like, who the fuck don't know that? Like, and it's Facebook. It's not like it's just your fucking local blog. You got fucking states where they fucking man they make it mandatory to teach the gay shit. It ain't even mandatory to... Oh, shit, Christ. Mm -hmm. 
Dave Chappelle this, Dave Chappelle that. And you can kill it. What Dave Chappelle said is you can shoot a nigga dead in Walmart. But you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. What? Who? Ah, um, this is a stupid bitch here. Yeah. This is a dumb motherfucker. I don't care who he is to y'all. This is a piece of shit, spineless little piece of shit bitch. He's fucking pathetic, bro. Just saying shit. Like, niggas don't know that you, when you don't want to acknowledge something, like, niggas have never seen that shit. Like, you just really showing a new shit. Like, niggas have never seen a nigga that just, well, I'm gonna just ignore all that and I'm gonna just say my stuff. Like, niggas have never seen that shit before in life. Like, it's just new. You just came up with this shit. Bitch, bro. And I laughed and I scoffed at that. That's based on my experience six years working with black men. If black men cared that much about uh, black kids, they would actually do something to change the laws. They shows how stupid you are because the laws are not the problem. If you knew about the laws, you would know not to call yourself black, but you know. Because personal jurisdiction is important. Dress God has not been repealed. Yeah, I got to repeat myself because you did. And you're talking about what you see. Again, what makes you good enough to recognize anything? Where have you done anything in law to know what you're talking about? I've defended myself by myself in court. I know how to do it. I know what's important in law to you. You have a law library? I do. Okay. Same. Way. They do nothing. I do. Nothing. Nothing. So you got track of all the niggas on the world in the United States, right? In the world that is the United States, you got track on all the niggas and they did nothing, you said. Yeah, make this shit up. Well, I know a lot of black men personally that's trying to fight and change law. Right. That's what I'm saying. But but again, you talking about cats on your feed and your Facebook and mm -hmm. people you know. So he's not talking about everybody else that's actually doing something that I know doing it. So you got track on all the niggas and what they did or what they, that's not real. So you're talking about two people that trashed you saying those two things. That's what you're talking about. And you feel you got something that they don't got. Uh, they got something that you don't got. And that's called the truth. They're not liars like you. And if you saying you weren't even talking about me, I owe you an apology. But like I said, when you was saying Charles Pope, when you was talking about Baby Mama Terrace, and I'm like, right. well, I'm the only one to say that. I ain't entertained the Charles Pope. But when I heard Baby Mama Terrace, I'm like, yeah, we Facebook friends. I said, I do talk about child support all the time. You got to be talking about me. Nope. I wish you'd uh, uh, reached out to me. I could have easily, uh, you know, clarified the matter. I was talking about guys in my Facebook feed to give a point of clarification about this, about how this actually points uh, plays itself out. If that was the case, why wouldn't you name the people on Facebook? If you was the type of nigga that said and really I addressed it, why aren't you name the niggas on Facebook? And then backed it up with the page that you're talking about. Why'd you name them? If you was a naming them niggas type of nigga, you would have just named them niggas. Like, like I did. Like, it's kind of weird how that works. And that's a case in point. Well, I, I, I have to say, I'm not going to say who, but I had talked to a couple of individuals and they said you was talking about me, bro. So, I mean, but I'm not going to put the name out there because that's he say, she said, and that shit started. I'm not going to Exactly. And if I was talking about you, I will just go ahead and mention names. Everybody knows how I get down. I would have said you by name. Hmm. Try to wrap them up. Yeah, okay. Like I say, I, hey, you say you want to talk about me? I really want to know who them dudes is. Cause I ain't know other people saying baby mama a bunch, a bunch of a bunch of uh manosphere MGTOW, red pill followers on you on uh Facebook who the majority of whom I ended up blocking because I got tired of going back and forth with them about this stuff. Just a lot of dudes online just mad. How oh, convenient. Ain't that something? The niggas and shit causing you to get online. Find you the clown shit the nigga on. The dudes, the whatever, the couple of guys followers that got you so mad that you online on another thing that's not Facebook. They're just mad, but you blocked them so you can't name them. There's no point of naming them now. What the dumb shit. You, no point of naming them. That, oh, they got, they, they took this to so intense that they got you on the internet. 
on another fucking social media venue talking about them for day mad. It's conveniently got them blocked. Yo, them dope fiend games, y'all. Them dope fiend games these niggas so used to playing with. I gotta do a live or, or a video on them dope fiend games, bro. So y'all niggas know what it is. I'm from Liberty Heights and going out Northwest Baltimore, bro. I know a dope thing when I see one. We, we talk fast. Fuck my next, you know, you, you're right. Fuck my next, but you're right. We talk fast because that's how the dope thing stop. Right? That's who raised us because our daddies was dead and in jail. Not playing them fucking dope thing games with us, bro. I'm sick. I'm tired of that clown shit. I can't stand little bitch niggas like this. They're just oh. mad at life, mad at the world. Really mad at themselves. For you know, not not making something out of themselves. Really, that's really what it boils down to. Oh yeah, well I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about. Like I said, I mean I talk about um, the alphabet community, but it ain't about all that. I, that ain't that's not my lane to talk about. So I would stay in my lane, do what I do. But like I say, if you say you didn't, you want about me, I apologize. I a nigga, bro, this shit that make me mad. Is a nigga is supposed to be so mad about child support? Supposed to get. It's like when you when you're skin brown. And you in North America and you're a man with a dick. Everybody's self-worth is attached to being able to I can hit you, you can't hit me back. <laughs> I can hit you, you can't hit me back. Niggas are supposed to just forget we was hit. Like these niggas don't know that these chicks are putting them on child support so she can make them pay for not doing what she wanted them to do. Niggas just don't know that no more. Everybody can know the deep and you heard that. that everybody can know that. Oh, it's just so deep and I can just speak. Everybody can know that but us. Niggas that play the sports, the niggas that invent the shit that you use, the niggas that physically go to war. I, I just, I, mm. the niggas that deal with competition all day, every day, they have to learn people, they have to see a ball coming 90 something miles an hour, a football coming 67 miles, miles an hour, a nigga that's fucking 300 something running fucking 18, 14 miles an hour. Like, all of a sudden, we just don't know what people are doing. We can't read anything. <laughs> Fucking shit is crazy. The fastest niggas, biggest, most talented, talented niggas on the world, we can't see. We just forget. We supposed to just forget so y'all can feel. And then and then you got white, so, uh, you got European people, you got black females, and you got these theta males. Y'all keep calling them beta males. You got these theta males like him. Sleep dead niggas. That 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 uh, their self worth is attached to being able to being able to <laughs> get you off a level playing field and then want to claim some victory against you, find you into some space where you can't be you and they can just attack attack attack. Like the shame, the game plan is so fucking obvious. That's why I'm taking my time out to say this shit so people can hear it and be like, I don't know, I know, I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. Yeah, yes, that's it. I can hit you, you can't hit me back. <laughs> I can hit you, you can't hit me back. What the fuck? I just, all right, if that's what we doing, I just come and smack the shit out you off right. That's why I talk like I talk. I make it real hostile from the beginning. Because at that core and at that base, they're not, we're better than them. Dudes that have a spine and not, yeah, I'm not going to conform. I do what I, what I want to do and I'll live and die with that. They are so, bitches like him are so upset because a nigga won't conform like he did because he want to fucking cross validate Look that up. His fucking decisions to be spineless and to be a conformist. No, man, you're not supposed to be conforming. <sighs> These people like this really bother me. We are in. We are in the situation we are in North America because of niggas like him. It's because of niggas like him. Y'all to think y'all come from Africa. I come from Africa because of niggas like him. Look up what a, a dunga man is. You want something for nothing. You don't have no respect for men. Says a man, I've been in all the spaces, bro. I've been in all of them my 35 years. I have a tremendous amount of respect for integrity. Integrity. 
integrity. So much so that it, I, I learned integrity from the streets in the crime community. It exists even there, so it's no excuse. No excuse for the blue or the white. They exist. It exists there. there. There is honor among thieves. But you're not welcome there. Because you can't be trusted. <laughs> A nigga can't have you for the luck out because you're going to fucking shoot him in his back. Oh, bro, I just... Uh, I have to belabor this. I got to have it going on and on because... This is where you fail. When you don't recognize fake niggas like this, this is where you fail, bro. Gotta be able to pick out little fucktards like this. This shit don't make sense. Regular, corporate, cookie-cut responses he's giving. Typical, average, and ordinary. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing integrity. Just basic, dismissive rhetoric. I have no problem with that. No problem. No problem. Uh, any other? Any other questions? No, that, that was really it. Because, uh, like I said, the alphabet part and all that, I, I care less about that. All right, fair enough. Thanks a lot, man. Let me get up out of here. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate it. Coming on. Yeah, so that's that's it. Shout out to Mr. Palmer. Link in the description to this. Um, please like and scri- subscribe to his channel. Um, because he not only talks about baby mama terrorists, he talks about baby father terrorists, period. And, um, and you know, protecting, protecting uh, the integrity of the family. It's people like him talking about the real shit. And uh, like anything, you don't agree with a hundred percent. But like, like, like in a legal community, it's no debate on what the law is. What we debate in a legal community or the community, the whistleblower community, as it relates to law, is we debate and go back and forth about legal strategy. Well, it's not going to be the same situation. Everybody's situation is is not cookie cut, right? Especially relative to each state. But what we can agree on is the facts and. The facts that he bring are non-negotiable. $51 billion business in North America that they make from child support. Why are you making 51 billion? All that means is you're taking $51 billion from families. That's all that that means. That doesn't mean anything else. And that's not including the attorney fees. That's not including the attorney fees. Not including the attorney fee. You understand? So when you're paying your child support, the court is getting something, particularly the judge that signs it and the bitch is not reporting it to the IRS. Okay. You know, so we'll just sleep this. I know this was long. Um, cause I've been watching the clock as I've been talking and doing this. This is going on for a long time. I got some editing to do. I didn't want to edit it at first. Um, but we will. So, um, like, and subscribe, comment below. If you like what I said, don't like what I said. Um, if you the nick the obsidian, the bitch nick, I'll come to your show and say everything I just said here on your shit. Cause I have no respect for you. You've already shown me who you are. I don't gotta get to know you on your female shit. I don't have no respect for weak niggas like you. Shout out to Mr. Palmer for keeping his cool and allowing his bitch nigga to expose himself as a fuck nigga that he is. And fuck niggas like y'all. I don't have no respect. I don't give a fuck about your manosphere community. I have my own community. I don't give a fuck. I look at the manosphere, red pill, whatever, whatever y'all call yourself. It's yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I agree with y'all. That's the truth. Come in there to support. But I see the same fuck shit and y'all shit that I see everywhere else. It's typical cookie cut fucking fuck nigga shit. And I'm gonna call that shit out 100% of the time. That's why I'm a noble. That's not my name, it's my title. Respect the crap. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got lost in a train of thought of just all that goodness I just heard. Big. The Well Class.